Sell the artwork. Buy the artwork. Sell the artwork. Buy the artwork. So, now the longer you go for this, the more money potentially you can make. There is no limit to this. And also, if you get bored, you just don't want to click anymore, buying and sell it, keep it in your inventory. And when you find another drop-off point, just milk it some more and make more and more money. Hey, I am Feedback Gaming. Time for some more cyberpunk. Have you ever wanted to be rich? No worries in the world. Buy your favorite armor, favorite weapon. In fact, carry more weapons than you even can use. Unlimited money has arrived in Cyberpunk 2077. I'm going to show you exactly how you do it. This is a continuation of my previous character. If you want to check out that video, click on the card in the top right. Let's go. Do you not want to get spoiled with Cyberpunk? Great. All of that one skipped just for you. And here we are, the beginning of Act 2. No spoils, because I love you. This outfit consists of just bandages. Oh my goodness, that smile is creepy as hell. What about a pout? Barely looks any different. A gawk. Why do they all look the same? Let's get out of this apartment. Let's make our way down to the ground floor. And let's get ourselves a vehicle. When I say get, I might just mean uh, steal a vehicle, yeah. Before we go outside, let's stop off and see if there's any weapons we can buy. No weapons are jumping out of me, but shotgun ammo always goes a long way, so we'll take all of it. Electric batons also used, so electric damage does extra damage to robots. So we'll take one of those as well. Good. All right, let's get onto the streets again. So the reason why you need to be on Act 2 is because a part of the city is locked into you progressing the main story. So Act 1, you're allowed to be in this area, but when you go Act 2, you unlock all of this southern area. We need to go to exactly right here. So eastern part of the city... This big highway junction here, and just north of it, this side job. Go right here. If you've been following the main quest, you might realize at this point that, oh yeah, you don't have a vehicle. Whoops. So, you can either steal one or buy one. Or I like to call, we're going to borrow a car. Now, your ability to hijack a vehicle is based on your strength, and I've got a strength-based character here, so this should be easy. Yeah, four strength required. I think my strength like 12, I think. And here we go. The long drive. How far is it? It is 3.3 kilometers. Let's go. So the order we've got to do this, you've got to be in Act 2. Then you've got to find yourself with a vehicle, because you're going to be traveling a far distance to the eastern part of the city. Oof, what is this vehicle? Oof, that is pretty beautiful. That looks very nice. Requires 10 strength to hijack this. It looks like it scales based on the value of the vehicle. Oh my goodness, this is so fast. When I get 1 million subs, guys, we'll do a giveaway of one of these. Uh, your requirement is to subscribe to the channel. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to afford one of these. This vehicle is amazing. Oh my god, the traction is so good. The speed is so good. This is a pleasure to drive. I feel like I'm driving a GTA 5 vehicle. Also, pro tip, might want to drive on the right side of the road. But because I am British, I do not adhere to these rules of the road. Come on, guys. We all drive on the left. It's the right way. The left is right. Right? This is a serious question. You guys feel excited about self-driving cars? Or does it scare you? The idea of, like, sleeping behind the wheel and letting the car drive you to where you need to be sounds so exciting. But also, at the same time, pretty scary. Here we are, the rougher part of town. This is where we need to be. Go around this corner. Come up to this shopping center, maybe? bit like a petrol station without the pumps and come up to these three guys get absorbed in the yeah. awesome dialogue so they've got a suitcase you need the suitcase just follow the dialogue options and you'll be just as fine you can bite off them you can talk them into it or in this case i can use my awesome biceps to flex and i uh i'm so strong so he's gonna tell you right now that you found it in a dumpster at the back of this building so you try and open it up and you have to hack into it. So in this case, you're just going to find the body because that will open the keys to this laptop. So just make your way around here. And if you look right here, this is the owner. A fresh body. And we'll give it a scan as well. And there you go. The access shard is on him. Now we can go back to the laptop. Now if you have got the hacking skill, just hack it. You'll get some XP from it. So it's always worth it. But in this case, I don't have the hacking ability. I've made a strength brawny character that doesn't have the ability to really do that. All right, go into the files, launch.exe. You're going to get a new tag on the map. If you look, we're going to have to go all the way into the wastelands right here and do Space Oddity, the next quest. So, 
Commandeer into the vehicle and uh, off you go. 1.7 kilometers, let's go. One factor that's going to make this next encounter quite tricky is if you are fairly low level. In this case, I'm level 8. That's horrendously low level for this specific area. So my advice, level up a little bit, come back a little bit later, or I'm going to show you this method. Be aware, this method can be quite tricky, but also quite fun. So as I said before, these soldiers I'm about to engage, I'm not high enough level to take them on directly, but there is a way around it. For some reason, regardless of what level you are, if you're in a vehicle, you can always one hit kill. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And it's a process of just doing drive-bys over and over again until we wipe out all the soldiers in this area. So you can see one right here. Looks like we got and boop, that's one. And then there's another one here. Oh, missed him. Once again, do another drive-by. Careful, low health. Get out. Don't want to make sure you blow up inside of the vehicle. And then we're going to have to find ourselves a new vehicle to do another drive-by. There are seven enemies in total. Can you see that on the top right? When you get down to at least two, and you're around about level 10, you might be able to take them on by just picking up a few shots at them and moving away. But trust me, these enemies are incredibly high level. So my advice is just do your drive-bys. Run into them with the car. Get easy, cheap kills for the win. All right, take two. Trying a slightly more sturdy, heavier vehicle this time. Will this result in more HP? I don't know. Let's find out. Before you can progress in this section, you have to wipe out all seven soldiers. Good news is this is the hardest part. Once you've done this, it's all uphill. Oh, boop. Ooh, an opportunity to get two here. One and two. Easy. Three left. If you manage to knock them over with a vehicle and just keep the vehicle on top of them, then you can just shoot them over and over while they're down. Beautiful. Pushed him out from the bottom of the car. Just shows how much HP they've got. Still got some HP left. Boom. And now there's only one. The square off. 1v1. Pistols at dawn. Got the light machine gun. Them full of bullets. You can see. Hitting them, doing basically no damage, just laughing at the damage there. Hey, how's it going, dude? Boom. Get into cover, do some more heals. HP. Back into cover. Load. And the heal again. Three, two, one. Done! Here we go. Here goes. Titled 18. Got it. What the hell is this? Now you've got the item. Skip all this do hard. I'm going to skip the dialogue because I'll let you guys enjoy it in game. Job has been completed. Now we need to find a drop off point. Go into your map, drop off point right there. Go there. We now have in our possession a very precious piece of art. And if we sell it, we make a nice amount of money. But what if you could sell it twice, three times, four times, maybe a hundred times, over and over and over again? The question is though, what would the consequences of that be? Oh, yeah, that's right you'd be incredibly filthy rich. This is the drop-off point. See it here. Untitled 18. It is worth 4,000 euro dollars. Click here. Boom. Sell it. 4,000. And hop out of the drop point. And then go back into it. And then we look to buy it. It now costs 5 euro dollars. Hmm. Interesting resale value. We're going to buy it. Then, we're going to hop out of the drop point, and then back into it again. Back into miscellaneous. Oh, it's worth 4,000 again. And again, buy it again, back out, back in, buy it again, sell it again, back out, back in, sell it again, buy it again. You get the picture, right? Over and over. And now, the drop point has no money left. What we're going to do now, go into our inventory, skip time, 24 hours. Boom. Oh, look. And now the drop point has 20,000 euro dollars again. 20,000 euro dollars profit. Yeah. I don't mind if I do. You just do the process over and over again until the drop point runs out of money. And the drop point has run out of money. What an awful shame. Inventory. Skip time. 24 hours. Done. Sell the artwork. Buy the artwork. Sell the artwork. Buy the artwork. So, now the longer you go for this, the more money potentially you can make. There is no limit to this. And also, if you get bored, and you just don't want to click anymore, buying and sell it, keep it in your inventory. And when you find another drop-off point, just milk it some more and make more and more money. Right, let's go to a fast travel point, and let's see what some spicy things we can buy with this very, very 
spicy currency. But if we go back into town, southern part of town looks pretty good. Fast travel, here we go. Let's find myself a ripper dock. Let's buy ourselves all the best possible implants. All right, here we go. Next two upgrades for my legs. Can't get them because I can't afford them. Oh, we'll see about that. Find myself a drop-off point. Head towards it. Hey, look. Precious artwork. Sell, buy. Sell, buy. All right, we've got the money now. Head back to the Ripper Dock. Our new legs. Go for fortified ankles. I'm really curious to see how effective this is. That's pretty handy, actually. Up we go. And over we go. And over we go. Another shop. See what we can get. Oh my god, this vehicle is so awful. Oh. Whoa, this is a big one. We have a baseball bat. Two-handed. 283 damage. Malt double-barreled shotgun. Homes in on targets with self-guided micro-projectiles. Right, this is the shotgun. And the bat. Ready for some action? <laughs> Not what I expected. Feels like the hive gun from Half-Life. Kind of nice and cute, though, to shoot here. They just go around the corner. <laughs> the damage <laughs> is just horrendous. Back to the classic baseball bat. Lock in. And shoot. Feels like you waste a lot of ammo. It is a really cheesy way of killing enemies around corners. I'll give it that. What just happened? Maybe it's better this way. Maybe it's better this way. Let's test out our pricey purchases. Was it worth it? Boom. And uh, boom. With this shotgun, you can't fire off each shell at a time. You have to fire them both at the same time. Last three shotgun shells. And one. Oh, wait. There you go, guys. Unlimited cash is simply a few dozen clicks away. All the implants are available to you at your fingertips. Hey guys, let me know if you enjoy these cyberpunk videos because I have no idea. Yes, I just wanted to play something different. If you support me, let me know in the comments below. Guys, have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for your support. Every single Patreon supporter helps me hire editors to make more content for you. Thank you.